we are going to make a concertina card. Well, I call it a concertina card. And it's a concertina card with a difference. For this, you will need strong glue or quick drying glue, a ball tool for your scoring board, craft knife, pencil, ruler, cutting mat, and of course, fussy cutting scissors. Then you're going to need a 6 inch by 12 inch base piece of paper. And for this card, I'm using the new Lady Vagabond Lifestyle 6x6 paper pad. And I will be using three sheets. So I'm going to use that side of the room, this side of the room, and Lady Vagabond in her lounge, music room, entertainment area, whatever you want to call it. So those are the three sheets we will be using. I'm going to start by preparing the base. We're going to start with the scoring and you can measure one inch and score the whole way down but I prefer to work with my paper horizontally. Use the width of my ruler. My ruler is one and a quarter inches wide. You could just do an inch because we need, for this purpose of this card, it to be narrower than this window and the curtain area. So we are going to put our ruler on the edge so that we can bump it up against over there. And we are going to do it in increments getting larger and larger so it is quite easy to remember and we're going to work from right to left we're going to have one inch then two inches and then three inches and you need a hill and a valley score and a hill and a valley score and then a hill score so we're going to score at 11 at 10 at 8 at 6 and at 3 Having done your scoring, we are now going to cut from the 6 inch to the 1 inch, or sorry, the 3 inch to the 11, or it's the 3 inch space there and 1 inch space there where my ruler was. So now you need a cutting mat and a ruler with a metal edge or a metal ruler. And I'm going to just pop it on like that at an angle. I'm using my little mat and I have a metal ruler with a craft knife and I'm going to, you can just see the score lines shining on the camera and I'm going to score with my blade from there to there. until it has gone through. I should have given a new blade on there, but I have now managed to cut through. And now that you've done that, you can pop it back on the trimmer, in, at, on the scoring board actually. And we could have actually gone right through at six inches here, but of course we had the ruler in, in the way. So we need our this piece to be scored at six inches as well. There we go. Now we can do our hill and valley folding. So we are going to go, firstly I'll just pop that in. That's our hill. So now we want a hill and valley. So it's going to be the concertina ring. So we have our hill and our valley then we have our hill and our valley and then we need the next hill so now we have the base ready for our pieces that we have to fussy cut for the fussy cutting we're going to start with our lady vagabond 
and for this we are going to need to fussy cut from the top of the curtain along the window along the side of the table and then I just went straight down for that then we're going to fussy cut Lady Vagabond out herself and we will move on to these shortly right so starting here and wiggling our way around the table and around the gramophone until we get to the window then we go up the window and in and up the curtain perfect now we're going to need lady vagabond we will use i could have actually cut the rest of that but we will join it and you won't really see it we're going to cut out lady vagabond her hair down her arm to her cuff and the lace to her hand then I'm going to go down her coat To her gorgeous boots okay and here I'm going to just cut up in between don't really cut in between her fingers because it's I don't feel it's necessary for this and in all honesty you could sit and cut that with a craft knife or just leave it for my original I just left it so now we have the two fussy cut bits there and you can use a craft knife and ruler to cut off the rest as I said you could have done that all in one go um, when before cutting there then it wouldn't have a cut mark but because of the pattern you don't actually see it that you can keep for something else and of course you can still use the books on the other side so put that in your pieces to use later so we have now prepared the piece that will go on here this piece that will continue along the bottom and then Lady Vagabond who is going to stand here and I actually put her in front of the of the table so we have those pieces ready next we need this piece to um, cut out and I am going to just work out that I need so we know that that is two inches so we need two inches up from the bottom um, that is so we need to cut in from where's my pencil over here so we're going to cut in at two inches 
and cut up the writing desk, cut around the books, and fussy cut all the detail on the books, cut around the calendar. Lady Vagabond has a perpetual calendar. Cut down the other side, along the goggles, up the stem. And then I just cut around the outside of this because you could of course use a craft knife and cut in between if you have the patience. But honestly I didn't think that was necessary. And I'm not a fussy fiddle person, so fussy cutting, this is already as much fussy cutting as I can manage. Right, now we need to make sure that we have the two inches on the other side. So I'm going to do a mark over there and a line for myself right across. So there is where I'm going to draw right across because then I can carry on cutting out everything and I know that it won't show the purple of the base card. So up we go. Along the top of these books. Lady Vagabond does like her books. And now I know I have to stop over there where the two inch mark is up the now most of this is going to be underneath or behind Lady Vagabond and her curtain so it's not really going to be seen but it just helps to add dimension to the card right let's take that out of the way then it's a little bit easier for you to see. And that is the next piece done. So this piece will sit over here, like so. Finally, we are going to do the dresser. And for this, I started on that edge and I'm going to end over here. So we need to do for this a three inch line. And so we will mark off three inches. And three inches on this side. And draw a line across then we know where to start and stop so we are going to cut straight across over here on the three inch line then we will go up the dresser And around around the clock and down the other side your three inch mark which is just past where the join in the cabinet is and let's just double check my measurements because it does seem a little off 
It is the bottom one. Anyway, we will go snip there. Right. So, now I have the piece that will go here. And it's going to go just the other side of the kist. So I'm going to draw a line over there. Finish it off with my ruler. You could cut it with a craft knife, it's probably easier. For me it certainly is than trying to cut a straight line with a pair of scissors. There we go. So now we have our three pieces. So we have that piece ready. We have the chair and the writing desk ready. We have the curtain, Lady Vagabond and the rest of the base along there. If you wanted to, you could use, so now we've got the rest of the sky area that we cut out um, from the writing desk. We can use this purple piece over here to finish that off. So you can cut a one inch piece off there. So we will measure um, one inch. So let's use that side. And one inch for this you could use a trimmer. Guillotine, whatever floats your boat. And it's quite hard to see where my pencil mark was. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is start gluing it all together. Before we glue it together, I'm just going to use a little bit of ink to make Lady Vagabond stand out a bit against the background. Otherwise she will disappear a little bit just to give her a little bit more shadowing and grounding so that when I put her against that she will stand out. It's a small thing but I like to do that. Right, let's start constructing and for this I find it easier to start at the back. So we are going to put glue on the back base. And for this I like to use my extra forte glue. Pop it in there, just make sure that it still all folds well. Give it good pressure. Next we're going to pop the writing desk in. And slide it up to that point there. And collapse it all together. Now we're going to put this front piece on. So we're going to glue right across there. And the la 
last piece we're going to do is this one so I know that all of this is covered so I'm going to just glue this whole piece starting at the top and making sure I'm flush with that edge and flush with the bottom Perfect. Then I can add a row of glue along there just to finish off my pattern. There we go. And I have left the pattern on the bottom of all the pages. It just helps to link your eye. Then we can put Lady Vagabond over here. So we need a little bit of glue on her boots, on her skirt. And I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on there and there. And stick Lady Vagabond in place. So that her boots touch the bottom and her hand is held by the by the table so there we have our piece done now it's up to you to add any extras so for the original card I added some pieces from the Boards and I added a lady in a frame. So I have this one. I have hmm, do I not have another small frame? Oh no, typewriter is too big. I have that frame that I can put someone in. Oh, we have the round frame that looks rather nice there so we can have that picture frame there you could have a gauge you could have this picture frame but that's rather big I must have used up all my others here's another one that one also looks rather good over there um, or you could use this picture frame and put somebody in it some of your self or you could even write a little note so you could write on a piece of paper glue it in there pop that in there and then you have a, a note there you can choose one of the sentiments pop it up there do one thing every day that scares you um, there are lots of lovely sentiments you can have this one is quite big so then I would have it to balance I would cover up the chest and I would put it over there and I've just realized I've been talking and not having it in the in shot um, so it's entirely up to you what you want to do because then you would be able to write on the back um, you can add something in the front here um, you can add here I've got the supervisor with a little Christmas bow he could be over there it's up to you how you want to continue to decorate and add on but there it folds flat and fits perfectly in an envelope ta-da